Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this diaper cover or baby shorts for babies between six and nine months old. I made it to match the little dress, the little cardigan, the baby blanket, and the baby booties that I showed you already in my channel. If you want to see these tutorials, just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel. You will find those tutorials there. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller from zero to three months and bigger up to 24 months so be sure to check that out also i'll leave the link to my etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern okay let's get started but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish also don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials and if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching Okay, to crochet the diaper cover or baby shorts, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And today I'm using this DK weight yarn. This is the yarn that I'm going to be using, which is the same one that I used to make the little dress and the little uh, sweater that I showed you already in my channel. It's Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett. This is DK weight yarn. You can also use 8 ply or number 3 yarn. So here, to begin, I have a total of 84 chains. Now, without stretching or anything, this chain here is measuring about 42 centimeters, which is about 16.5 inches. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, continue with the next step. So here, to begin, like I said, I have 84 chains. What we're going to do here to begin the first row is we're going to join to the first chain. Make sure that you do this so that your chains are not twisted. Now insert your hook through the first chain right there. So here, join with a slip stitch. Now chain one and into the first chain, which is the same one where we joined, make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain. Half double crochet into the next and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make one half double crochet on each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 84 half double crochets. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 84 half double crochets. To finish this row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the first row. Now for the second row, chain one. In this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning into the first half double crochet that we have here, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next, a back post half double crochet. Into the next, front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do for this second row front post and back post half double crochets continue like this i'll meet you here at the end of this second row i'm here at the end of this second row in this row i did front post and back post half double crochets now to finish this row and all rows to follow you're just going to go here on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for rows three four and five you're going to chain one and here beginning into this first front post half double crochet you're going to make a front post half double crochet then a back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. For this row, this is all we're going to do. Front post and back post half double crochets. Now, to finish this row, you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the fourth and fifth row. So continue, let's finish these five rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these five rows. Here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done. This is going to be the waistband. Now, what we're going to do is, this is where we finished. I'm going to turn this over. Here's the yarn that I had left when I did my chain. So we're going to go right here. And we're going to insert our hook between the first and the second half double crochet. So right here, insert your hook. I'm going to use the pink yarn now. 
I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space here, make a single crochet chain one. Now skip one space and into the next, so this one here, make a shell. Each one of our shells is going to consist of four double crochets from here on. Chain one, skip one space and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one, skip one space and into the next, make a shell. This is how we're going to continue for this first row. Now notice that the shells and the single crochets, I'm making them in between the stitches, not on top of the chains right here. These are the chains. So here, chain one, here's my shell, chain one, skip one space and into the next, make a single crochet chain one, skip one space and into the next, make a shell. Chain one, skip one space and into the next, make a single crochet chain one, skip one space and into the next, a shell. This is all I'm going to do for this first row, so continue. I will meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 21 shells. This is my last shell, so now don't chain one here at the end. Just go here where we have the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row with a total of 21 shells separated by one single crochet. Now for the second row, turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell. We have four double crochets into the first double crochet make a front post slip stitch now chain three make a front post double crochet chain one two front post double crochets now we have the second shell make two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets this is how we're going to continue for the second row you're just going to make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue all around. I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where I've done front post double crochets. Now to finish this row, always go here to the top of the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now for the third row, just turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Now in this space between the first and last shell, so right here, make a single crochet, chain one. Inside each one of the chain one spaces, we're going to make a shell and each shell consist of four double crochets here's the first shell now chain one in the middle of the shells make a single crochet chain one and then a shell inside the next chain one space chain one in the middle of the shells single crochet chain one and inside the next chain one space another shell this is all we're going to do for this third row. Continue, I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I've done shells. I have a total of 21 shells. Now, this is my last shell. At the end here, do not chain one. You're just going to go here into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, these are the two rows that you're going to repeat, the row shells and the row from post double crochets. So for the fourth row, we need to do the row from post double crochet. So to do this row, all you do is just turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell. We have four double crochets. Into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three and then make a front post double crochet, chain one, two front post double crochets. Again, we have the second shell, make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of this fourth row, front post double crochets. When you finish this row, you're going to go here into the third chain, make a slip stitch, then turn for the fifth row, and in the fifth row, you need to repeat the row shells. 
And that's all we're going to do from here on. We're just going to continue and repeat the two rows. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part. Now, I did a total of 17 rows. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. My last row was the row of shells, and I have a total of 21 shells at the end of this 17th row. Now, it's measuring from the top of the waist to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. Now, if you want to make this part here longer, you can just make sure that the last row that you do is the row shells. So what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the legs. So here I have placed some stitch markers. This is where I finished. So for the back here, we're going to mark two shells. This is the last shell and the first shell. Now we're going to count nine shells, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shells for the left leg. This is the back side. And in the front, we're going to mark one shell. Now here I have placed two stitch markers on top of the single crochet, so make sure that you do that. Now for this other side, we have nine shells as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is how we're going to divide the leg. So nine and nine shells for each leg. And here in the center on the back, we have two shells and we have one shell in the center here in the front. So to divide the legs, we're going to turn this like this and we're going to continue with the pattern. So I finished the last row by joining to the beginning with a slip stitch and then I turned. So here we're going to work a front post slip stitch into the first double crochet of this first shell. Then we're going to chain three. Now make three front post double crochets. Skip nine shells, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the single crochet after the ninth shell, which is this one here where I have the stitch marker, make a double crochet, but before chain two. I almost forgot. So chain two, skip nine shells, and into the single crochet after the ninth shell, make a double crochet. Now in the middle between the single crochet and the shell right here into this space, this is a chain one space, make a double crochet. And then we have the shell, make four front post double crochets. Now into this next chain one space between the shell and the single crochet, make a double crochet and on top of the single crochet, make a double crochet. Here in the front, I now have eight double crochets. Two, four, six, eight. Now chain two, skip nine shells and into this shell after the stitch marker, which is the second one we marked here for the back side make four front post double crochets. Now to finish here, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done and this is how we're going to divide the legs. From here on, this is the front in the front we only have one shell and in the back side we had two. Now I did these eight double crochets here in the front because in the back we have eight double crochets so that we have the same number of stitches. Now we're going to turn this to the back side. Here's the back. So facing me we're going to go on the left side and we're going to go right here where we have the chain two space on the left side here where we divided the legs and we're going to work this next row row one of the left leg from the inside out so insert your hook into the chain two space grab a loop and chain three 
Now, I forgot to mention, make sure that when you cut this yarn here, leave a nice long tail because this is what we're going to use to close this hole that's going to be left here. So make sure you leave a nice little tail here so that you can do that once this part here is done. Now here, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. This here is going to be an extra shell that I'm going to add for the legs. So in total, we're going to be left with 10 shells once this first row here is done. Now here, we have this last double crochet that we did here when we divided the legs. So these eight double crochets, so into this eighth double crochet, we're going to do the following. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook here into this space, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go to the first double crochet of the first shell and make a front post double crochet. Now I have three loops close. I did this here. This is a front post double crochet decrease because if I go directly and work my front post double crochet into this first double crochet, there's going to be a big gap. So this is how I'm going to do it so that there is no big space here. If you want to just go directly and use this yarn here to close that gap, then that's okay too. It's up to you to do it that way. But I'm going to continue like this. It's only going to be done here on this side and once we finish the row as well. So now we have the next double crochet, make a front post double crochet, chain one, and then two front post double crochets. From here on, this part here is the same. Again, we have the next shell, make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. And from here on, this is how we're going to continue until you come to the last shell. So right here, continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have my last shell. I have my last double crochet here. Here I'm going to make my front post double crochet, but I'm not going to close. I'm going to leave two loops here. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to make this double crochet decrease so that there is no gap between this first shell and the last here. So I'm going to insert my hook into this double crochet here. That's right here for the back side. See right there. So into this double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now to finish, just go into the third chain here where we have the three chains that I did at the beginning and make a slip stitch. And here is the first row for this left leg with a total of 10 shells. Now for the, let's see, second row, we're going to turn. From here on, we're going to turn just like we did here for this part. And we have the first space. So right here in this space, make a single crochet chain one and then into each one of the chain one spaces of each shell you're going to make a shell so four double crochets chain one and then in the middle single crochet chain one and then a shell this part here is the same so continue all around until you have 10 shells your last shell is going to be right here into this chain one space of this shell that i added in the center so I will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row here of the left leg. Now, if you notice, I've changed color for the diaper cover. I'm going to make it all in white. The tutorial that you have been watching was for the little pants. Everything is the same up to these last two rows that we just did. So from here on, we're going to continue and uh, do the bottom part of the little diaper cover here or the little shorts. So we're only going to do a couple rows here for the legs. So to finish the second row, I did my last shell here into this extra shell that I did in the first row. I have 10 shells all around. Now here at the end, don't chain one, just go into the single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row. Now for the third row, turn. In this third row, we have the first shell here. Now into the first double crochet here, make a front post slip stitch, chain three, then make a front post double crochet, 
chain one and then two front post double crochets now into the next shell you're going to do the same thing two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets that's all we're going to do for the third row so continue all around i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of the third row. This is where we did front post double crochets. To finish, just go into the third chain here at the beginning and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, turn and into this space right here, immediately make a single crochet chain one and inside each one of the chain one spaces, make a shell. chain one and then in the middle of the shells make a single crochet chain one and then again a shell inside the chain one space this is how we're going to continue all around for this fourth row continue i will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this fourth row i have a total of 10 shells this is my last shell i do not have a chain here at the end just join to the beginning with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, turn. Now in this row, we're going to make front post double crochets, but we're not going to do the chain one space. So here to begin, we're going to make a front post slip stitch, chain three, then make three front post double crochets. We're going to start to reduce the leg here a little bit. Now we have the next shell, make four front post double crochets. So don't chain one here anymore. Now continue for this fifth row like this, making four front post double crochets on each shell. I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. This is where we did front post double crochets to finish, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, chain one and turn. Now for row six and seven, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make front post and back post half double crochet. So beginning into the first double crochet here, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, and into the next back post half double crochet. This is how we're going to continue all around, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Now for the seventh row, you're going to do the same thing. So when you finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain one, and then do exactly the same thing. Front post, back post, front post, back post, half double crochets. Continue, let's finish these two rows and I'll meet you at the end of the seventh row. Okay, I finished the seventh row. So we did two rows of front post and back post, half double crochets. Now, if you want to leave the leg like this, it's all done. I'm going to go ahead and do one more row and I'm going to do it like this. Just like I did the little pants here, I'm going to make this trim here all around. So let me show you how it's done. I'm going to change color here. So to do this, I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch where I joined to the beginning with a slip stitch. So into that space right there, right there. Now grab a loop here. I'm going to use the pink yarn. And I'm going to chain one and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet chain one. Now I'm going to skip this next space and into the next between the next two stitches. So right here, I'm going to make a fan of six double crochets. So double crochet, chain one, 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 and one more. Double crochet, chain one. And as you can see, we have six double crochets separated by one chain. Now, we're going to skip this next space and into the next here, make a single crochet, chain one, and then skip this next space and into the next, between the next two stitches, we're going to make another fan of six double crochets separated by one chain. Let's 
let's see, we have two, four, six, and separate it by one chain. Chain one here at the end, skip one space and into the next. Make a single crochet chain one, skip the next space and into the next between the next two, make your third fan. And this is all we're going to do for this eighth row. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this ninth row. Up to here I have 10 fans. Now here at the end, chain one, and to finish, we're going to go right here where we have the single crochet that we did at the beginning of this row, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this eighth row. Now for the ninth row, we're going to turn. To begin here, we have the last chain that I did. Into this chain space here, make a single crochet, chain, three and into each one of the chain one spaces of the fan you're going to make a single crochet chain three 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 one, two, three, and then single crochet into the last chain one space. Each one of the fans is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six chain three spaces. Now to do the next fan, skip the single crochet and into the first chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and so on. This is all you're going to do all around, so continue. Let's finish this ninth row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. This is all we're going to do, so continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this ninth row. Okay, I finished making the ninth row. This is where we did chains all around. Now, the leg is done. I'm going to do one more row. If you want to do this, this is how we're going to do it, but you can also leave it like this. I think it looks uh, very pretty, but I'm going to go ahead and add one more row here of chains. So, same thing. We're going to turn here. To finish the ninth row, all I did was just join to the first single crochet that we did at the beginning of the ninth row join with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now, with the white yarn, I'm going to go into the first chain three space here of this first fan. And same thing, we're going to work this row from the inside out. So, insert your hook into this first chain three space, grab a loop here, so chain one, and into the same space here, make a single crochet, chain three, then into each one of the chain three spaces of the previous row, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains, oops, single crochet. Now, right in the middle here, we're going to make a single crochet and then a single crochet into the chain three space. Now, chain three, single crochet, 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 Here's the last single crochet of this chain three space and right in the middle of these two single crochets, make a single crochet and into the next chain three space, single crochet again and then chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochets. And this is how we're going to continue here for the 10th row and that's what it looks like. Let's see, yes, here's the wrong side and here's the right side. Continue like this all around and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making where we did chains all around with this white yarn. This is what it looks like. This leg here is all done. 
Now I give you several options where you can finish this part here if you don't want to add all of these ruffles here at the end. Now we're going to do the second leg. So we're going to go right here. I'm only going to show you a couple rows here for this other side. It's done exactly in the same way. Everything is the same. So we're going to go right here and we're going to start into the chain two space here. And we're going to do this row from the inside out. So grab a loop here with white yarn. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And into this same space here, make a double crochet, chain one, and then two double crochets. Now we have this double crochet here. So here, remember we did a double crochet decrease or a front post double crochet decrease. So you can either insert your hook in between here into the space, or you can go into the stitch itself here and just insert your hook right in the middle and grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Then right here, we have the first double crochet of the first shell, make a front post double crochet, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And this is how we're going to work this first double crochet here. Now into the next double crochet, make a front post double crochet, chain one, and then two front post double crochets. And then continue making two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets on the next shell all around. Continue like this. Let's finish this first row for the second leg, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. Here's my last front post double crochet. I have not closed this last stitch here. What I'm going to do is so that there's no gap between the first shell and the last shell here, I'm going to go into this double crochet that's like right across. You can either insert your hook right into the space like this and grab a loop, or you can go in the middle of the double crochet, which is what I'm going to do. So like this, grab a loop, oops, yarn over, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now to finish, we're going to go here onto the third chain and join it with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the first row with a total of 10 shells all around. Now for the second row for the second leg here, turn and immediately into this space right here, make a single crochet, chain one. Now into this first chain one space of this shell here, make a shell. So four double crochets, chain one, and then in the middle of the shells, make a single crochet, chain one, and then into the next shell, make a shell. This part here is the same that we did for this part here where we continue and repeat these two rows. Now we're going to do this second row to finish. You're just going to make your last shell here. Then you're going to join with a slip stitch here, turn and then repeat the row from post double crochets, just like we did for this part. Now we're going to do this for a total of, let's see, here on this side, we did five rows. So we did one, two, three, four, five. The last row was the row of front post double crochets. And remember that in that fifth row, we did not chain one when we did the row of front post double crochets. And then we did two rows of front post and back post half double crochets, and then the row of fan in pink, and then the row of chains in pink, and then the last row here of chains in white. And that's how you're going to continue and finish this second leg. It's done exactly in the same way. So you can always go back to this part here where I did the first leg, and then you can do the same thing here for the second leg. Okay, so continue. Let's finish this second leg, and then I'll come back and show you the finished diaper cover. Okay, I finished making the second leg. This is what it looks like. It's all done. Now here in the center, in the last row that we did here of front post double crochets, I just weaved this ribbon here. This is quarter inch ribbon, and I just weaved it all around and just tied a little knot here on both sides along with the little bow. Now here in the waist, I did the same thing. I just did a little bow here in the center. You can also just weave it all around if you'd like to do that. Now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the waist down to the end here, it's 
it's measuring about, let's see, 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches from the top of the waist to the middle here, the crotch area. It's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. Now the waist, just the top, it's measuring about 26.5 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. So based on these measurements, this little diaper cover, baby shorts is for babies between six and nine months old. Now, as you know, I made it to match a little dress that I showed you along with the little cardigan sweater, the little booties here, and then the little pants here, I did it to match the little sweater that I showed you already. So if you want to see these tutorials, just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find the tutorials there. Now, like I said, these little shorts or diaper cover are for babies between six and nine months old, but you can make them smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now here in the crotch area remember I said that there was going to be an opening here so all I did here too close was just on the inside here I just joined like this all of these um, eight stitches we had eight stitches here on this side and eight stitches here on this side and all I did was I think it's called a whip stitch just go in and out in and out and around and that's how i closed this part here i didn't show it to you because it's it's easy you can do it just um go stitch by stitch and then join so the little shorts or diaper cover is all done now stay tuned for the matching little bonnet i'll go ahead and do that next so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time